I think the, the 2017, we, we experienced expansion given that we had better strategies to penetrate the marketplace. We provided a lot of solutions and yes. alternatives to the building and construction industry. Mm -hmm. I think the, the projections and outlook for 2018 are even much more positive for Rwanda. And in fact, within the East African community where we operate, there is going to be huge infrastructure delivery. Government is set to this year start the construction of the Bugasera Airport. There's also old other alternative build technology that is coming in with the likes of Afri Precast. There's a huge boom in terms of the housing. There's a huge boom in terms of the road infrastructure delivery. Mm -hmm. There's also the whole thing of the SGR, uh, standard gauge railway uh, line, which is going to link Mombasa to the landlocked countries all the way through Kenya, through Uganda, to Kigali. So we are quite excited uh, with this whole uh, commitment by, by governments within the East African communities to towards uh, delivering on uh, we call the transnational infrastructure delivery. So in country, Rwanda, we are, we are quite excited to remain that strategic partner to, to our government to, pro to provide all the cement that uh, the government requires. So yeah, the outlook is, is quite positive. Interesting. Uh, you did mention something there on uh, the SGR, the Standard Gauge Railway, that will be coming into Kigali either through Isaka or through Nairobi Kampala in here. Yeah. How much do you see this affecting Simeras, say, the business after production of cement or the production itself, given the fact that you are still importing coal from different countries, uh, give Southern Africa and also on the other side, Tanzania. What are we looking at here? It will help unlock some of the, the constraints we've had. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the fact that we're importing coal from be it Tanzania, Kenya, and, 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 and inherent in the, 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 the landed price of coal as I've always said before, is the cost of transport. So with a standard gauge railway, it will probably help us to use the likes of Isaka dry port, if you're railing raw material to there, or you use the Kigali uh, dry ports and in and around Kigali find an area where we can offload our coal and take it down to the plant. So hopefully, and I'm, I'm, I'm very much optimistic that it will help us to unlock uh, and, 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 and deliver the, the, the coal price to the plant. Uh, cheaper. Uh, Becky, uh, you, last time when I was at the, at the Simera plant in Bugarama, uh, you, you had mentioned earlier that uh, you were looking at mid-2018 to go full capacity, 100%. But today, we're looking at a different story. We're looking at mid-2019. What caused this setback? I mean, some people ask, uh, some assumptions have come up with individuals saying it's because you're trying to control the price points here. Is that really right? Or maybe no, we're looking at something exactly. else. It's, 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 it's none of the above. <laughs> we, we, we wouldn't uh, be able to try and control the price. Mm. Uh, I think that would be irresponsible of us in a country where we are a strategic partner to the government. In fact, the, 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 the expansion, our ramp up was focused to be in the mid-2019. Now we are fast tracking it to mid-2018. I mean, as of in the month of March to April, we'll be going through a major, when I say major, one of the kind major uh, maintenance uh, 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 schedule, which is the annual maintenance that we normally would do. But this time around, we're calling it major maintenance because we will also inclu include with that some modification and upgrade in the plant in order to help us uh, uh, expand and meet the forecast demand. So we're going to fast track the ramping up. So mid middle of this year, we, we should be able to, to afford selling all of the cement that is currently demanded in this uh, country, which is around 550,000. Uh, as we speak. That is uh, major maintenance, but now we're, let's look at a minor maintenance that is going to happen, say, a week from now or two weeks from now. Uh, what does this have to mean for the cement industry here in Rwanda, given the, o the, the only producer in the country is actually going to have, say, a shutdown for two weeks to do maintenance? How much is this going to um, have an impact on... Uh, okay, okay, Michael, can, can, can we serve away from <laughs> calling this a shutdown? Because people might hear a shutdown okay, and be concerned. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a maintenance, it's an annual maintenance okay. schedule. 
Because what, what we do in our stages of, of production, mm -hmm. you have got the raw mill stage, you've got the killing line, you've got the finished mill stage. Mm -hmm. So we don't shut down the entire plant. Oh. That would be irresponsible. <laughs> I mean, shutting down the entire plant for three weeks and as such, not able to provide the cement mm -hmm. that this country so much need. So we, 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 we do it in stages. The, the raw mill shutdown will not affect the, the cement uh, provision. And as we speak now, we are ramping up our stocks in the cement mills to try and ensure that we have the cement that will be required at the time when we are doing maintenance in one of our mills. So our finished milling stage has got two mills. We've got two of them running in on and on and off stage, given the power and electricity uh, 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 planning that we are doing. But as we currently speak, we are prepared to incur cost to run all those mills flat out so that we are able to build stock to meet the demand during the time when we have only one mill running. So when you have the killing uh, maintenance, it need not to affect mm. the cement availability mm. because you would have built up enough stock on clink and that's all the part of our plans in terms of our scheduled maintenance, which we do in stages from raw milling, from a clinker a line process to cement milling process. Uh, so the, the market shouldn't be concerned, there will be cement yeah. available. All right, now uh, as of 2010, Rwanda's biggest import in the country was cement from uh, the region. Now uh, we did see by the year, between 2015, you ramping up production, now uh, we're looking at a 600,000 ton iron per annum, which obviously you have not hit yet, but yeah. looking forward to that. How much have you contributed to lowering Rwanda's trade deficit? The Minister of, of Finance uh, mm -hmm. last year, there was reporting that Simero contributed uh, towards the reduction of uh, uh, importation of cement and as such the contribution that we made was to half the spend on importation of cement from 812 million uh, USD to four, I think 420 uh, million USD. So it is halved we contributed purely because we went into the marketplace and ensured that we provide most of the cement that would have seen itself coming through the borders and the country spending it in the form of dollars. Let's look on the Strengthening Rwanda campaign that you're looking at today. What does it entirely mean? Look, we, we're changing our brand identity. You know, people used to associate cement to, to dust, to construction. It, there was nothing so sexy, if I may use the word, about mm -hmm. cement. But we've said, let us look at the positive side. on. What has cement helped to enable a country like Rwanda? Mm -hmm. We are saying we've played part in education because our cement is situated that building of schools is realized. In as much as we build schools ourselves in the communities where we operate and sponsor some education, but most of the institutions that you'll find in Rwanda, in them, our cement has been part thereof. We're saying we play part in sport because the, the stadiums that have been built in Rwanda have seen part of it realizing through the Cimero cement. Mm -hmm. We're saying we, we, we participate in health. You'll see this doing its rounds in the media house, in the TV, in the newspapers, saying our brand is so strong, we've strengthened Rwanda. Mm -hmm. We've partake in hospitals, in building of hospitals. We've partake in sport, in education, in health, and so on and so forth. We're trying to plant this so that it forms and it sinks with the Rwandan people into saying, indeed, we have a, 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 an investor, a, a partner like Simero, who's, who's been with us through thick and thin. And our strengthening of Rwanda is not something we are talking about now. It's something that has been with our people since from 1984 when this, uh, a, 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 when this uh, company was formed. So the provision of cement uh, as a partner to the government, it's not something we've started last year or this year or when uh, uh, PPC uh, bought a stake uh, in Cimero, but it's something that has been there from the early days when investment into manufacture of uh, cement from mining of limestone to finished product came about in the Bugasel, in, 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 in Bugarama region. Uh, yes. Becky, that sounds very interesting, but now allow me to drive you on uh, quite something that has to do with all Rwandans. Now, uh, prices of uh, the cement uh, has been kind of quoted a little bit higher, yet there were hopes that uh, with the new plant and the ramping up production, this would go lower. I mean, what are your thoughts on the same? Not really, I don't share the same thought. I think oh, really? probably what we need to share with the, the market is the fact that 
the price of cement since from 2015 has come down year on year. The recent stats that I've checked in our price of cement is that the price of cement, Rwandan price of cement, has come down year on year, but also our price, as Cimero price, year on year by 5 to 6%. And we, we, as a responsible cement producer in Rwanda, we, 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 we want to, to commit to our uh, people that we want better ways, cheaper ways mm -hmm. to, to make cement so that we continuously reduce the price of cement. Price of cement in Rwanda, obviously, is bound to come down because we continuously, with my technical team, as well as the government uh, through PSF, looking at ways we can reduce the cost of fuel and electricity. All right, now you, you did mention there that uh, Simira is moving clearly from the layman way of making cement and all of that going modernized. Uh, that is since the, the, the new plant and now you've moved into the bulk cement as of last year. Mm -hmm. Just help us understand, maybe this is actually more of my last one. How was the market reaction on uh, the bulk cement and has it had any impact on uh, yourselves as of yet? Absolutely. You know, we, we, we were surprised. We had sales forecast of, uh, from the time we launched it in August. Mm -hmm. We didn't see it doubling the volumes that we recorded around August. And volumes as we speak now triple. And we are looking at even inviting more uh, bulk tanking capacity mm -hmm. using the local transporters in, obviously to try and encourage the, 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 the whole thing of local procurement and from the made in Rwanda and as such also service such uh, in, in, the, in, in local currency. So the, the, the projections in terms of huge infrastructure projects that we see uh, are informing us that there's even going to be more demand for bulk solution mm -hmm. than what we've just seen. But to answer you, it's been quite positive. I mean, our bulk solution has, has grown from strength to strength and we we, as of today, talk uh, from hundreds to thousands in terms of provision of cement month on month. Interesting. Now, uh, before we let it go, we are looking at PPC, Pretoria Portland Cement, uh, that owns majority stake in uh, Cimera, listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. When should we expect, or how first are we yet to see Cimera listing on the Rwanda Stock Exchange? It's quite thought-provoking. I think uh, in time, <laughs> in no time probably, we will be coming to you and telling you that uh, now Cimera, uh, in line with the strategic thinking of our shareholders, the mm -hmm. government and PPC, we've taken a decision to, to be listed on a stock exchange. It's thought provoking, we will look into it. In fact, we've started discussing it in some of other forums within the country. Within the, 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 the 